This is how I quickly and easily navigate between directories, even if they are deeply nested. It almost feels like magic. I'll show you how you can navigate your terminal like a wizard. In this video, we're going to replace our standard cd command. Hi there, I'm Marco. Let's begin. We are going to use Zogside. Zogside is a smarter cd command. You can find installation instructions on the website. I'll link it below. I'm using macOS and we'll install it using Homebrew. Brew install Zogside. We still have to set it up in our shell using ZSH. So the setup instructions say that we have to add this line to the end of our ZSHRC. We're going to do it in a slightly different way. We actually want to replace our CD command completely. By default, you have to type in Z or Z to use Zogside, but we still want to use our muscle memory for CD. Zogside can completely replace CD. So instead of the default line, we are going to use this one in our ZSHRC by using dash dash cmd cd we are replacing the default cd command and now we just restart our terminal now we can use zogside let's get on with the basics so i just type cd dot files for example and i'm in my dot files if i just type cd i always come to my home directory just like the regular cd if i type cd space dash i come to the directory i was in before so just some basic stuff cd can do also you can do the same stuff as cd but so far you don't have any advantage to leverage zogside's full potential we have to train it first the simplest way to train it is just to cd into a directory. Zogzite has to learn about the directories you frequently visit to be able to magically change to them. For example, let's cd into my Westterm configuration directory inside my dot .files. This is pretty deeply nested, so you don't really want to type this out, right? Now that we've been here, Zogzite knows about this directory. Let's cd back into our home. To jump back into this directory, we can simply type cd west and we're instantly back here and didn't have to type this long path. Let's dive a little deeper into how Zogside works. Zogside uses a simple algorithm to resolve queries against its database. Zogside keeps track of all the directories you visited in its own database and ranks the directories based on a term called frequency, which is basically a combination of how often and how recent you visit directories. Zogside also uses some kind of aging algorithm to limit the number of entries in its database. It uses a simple algorithm for resolving queries. In short, it works like this. All matching is case insensitive, so it doesn't care if you search in upper or lower case all query terms must be present in the right order within the path and the last query component must match the last component of the path let's look at a few examples a little while ago we used cd west to jump here let's jump back and try again with cd uppercase west still works because queries are case insensitive back in our home directory we want to jump into the west term config directory this time suppose there's another directory called west term that has a higher rank so we type in cd west again oh that's not where we wanted to end up Let's try again, go back home and now be a little bit more specific. We could maybe say we know this is nested under config. What we could do now is cd conf west. Now we are where we wanted to be. Let's go back home and show what would not have worked. We see this wouldn't have worked. The last query component did not match up with the last component of the path. So we jumped into here instead. If you're interested in more details, just read the documentation. We can also interactively select the directory we want to jump to. For interactive selection to work, you need to have fzf installed. I'll put a link in the description so you can install it if you like and just so you know in my next video i will take a closer look at integrating fcf into zsh and we'll customize it a little bit just append an i to your zog side command we configured it to be cd so we use cdi hit enter you get an interactive list of the directories known by zog side ranked by frequency you can scroll through it or even do fuzzy finding Yay, here we are. If you like this video so far and maybe want to support me a little bit, then please like, subscribe and hit the bell icon down below. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much. You can also manually edit Zogside's database. Zogside provides a few commands for this. You can add directories, remove directories, or even look at the database entries and edit them. Let's just take a look at editing them. For this, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller, actually, so that you can see better. Here we have the complete list. We can navigate in the same way we did before when we tried out interactive completion. Fuzzy finding works for example but also we see we have a few commands up here Control w to increase the score of the path or Control s to decrease it we could also completely delete an entry with Control d we can exit with Control c and now we're back in the terminal which command line tools are your favorites let me know down in the comments below a very similar feature is interactive completion you can just type cd west space and tab for example and you get an interactive list again where you can fuzzy search 
just like with interactive selection before. This list is pre-filtered because we typed in WES. Let's change to the first directory. Let's try this again. But this time we'll type cd conf WES base tab and we'll only get the entries based on the combined query components we used. So here we are. Now you know how to navigate the terminal like a wizard. If you want to know more about WES term, watch this video next. If you want to know more about integrating FCF into your shell, watch this video here. Thanks for watching. See you around.